how people will go and buy stuff and just happily carry their groceries in their hand like <laughs> so unity is one life less thing that when i saw the person I'm like ah but she bad your bar <laughs> yeah so that's one thing this is, this is gonna be my first collaboration on your on youtube so you guys stick around when hi guys welcome and welcome back to another video guys i'm particularly excited about filming this one i asked you guys to ask me questions on youtube on instagram and you guys came through so first off i want to say thank you guys so much for reaching out with your questions this is my first ever q a on this channel oh my on this channel this is the only channel i have <laughs> this is my very first q a and i'm so glad that you guys took out the time to leave me some questions so i'm gonna go right into it but fun fact i'll have you know that i have filmed this video before so these questions are not new to me i filmed the video and unfortunately for me i lost a reasonable amount um, a reasonable portion of the footages so here i am doing a retake of the video and yeah i'm so proud of myself that i'm doing this <laughs> and anyways i think i look cuter today than when i did it previous one so no art feelings anymore no art feelings <laughs> going straight into the questions i'm gonna be starting off with the ones from youtube com from my youtube community tab and the first one says what what is something you wish you should be doing okay so it's a three-part question what is something you wish you should be doing what is the something that i wish i should be doing making more money <laughs> making more money living life to the fullest you know doing those things that i've always dreamt of doing there are a lot of things that i have that have just been wishes and i wish that i was actually you know already doing them like doing these things there are a lot of plans i wanted to do a lot of plans that i have you know a lot of steps that i want to take I'm talking in parables, but you know, just when you plan, you have things in your mind, you know, I should be, I should do this, I should do that to be able to achieve this, to be able to be this and be that. But then I'm just still in the process. <laughs> or for some, I've not even actually started. So I wish I was actually right now actively pursuing a lot of the things that I've had planned out. But there's still time never it's better late than never you know so we are still on the journey of becoming more becoming that version of ourselves that you know we want to see so yeah i think i'm i'm in the process but i wish i was already doing a lot of those things that i wished for <laughs> does that make sense the second part is do you love it in canada i absolutely love it here in canada um yeah just the system of things i don't like everything about canada but like i just love that yeah it's calm um there's no gra gra you know that kind of thing <laughs> even though me i like the hustle and bustle of lagos but i just love it here so yeah i love it here in canada are you open to collaboration that's the third part of course girl actually responding to r of course i'm open to collaborating with you baby girl <laughs> i think i'm gonna speak this into the existence this is gonna be my first collaboration on your on youtube so you guys stick around when you guys see r then you know the person i'm talking about you some of you might already know her. i mean if you don't already know her, like what are you watching on youtube <laughs> so yeah I'm definitely open to collaborating with you and generally speaking I am open to collaboration but it's just that there are not a lot of um, youtubers that 
I interact with that I think realistically I can collaborate with in a sense that a lot of them are like so yeah also I feel like for me to be open to collaboration I am not here for just the business of it just to pack on views and all of that it's been a journey for me if you guys have been following me from the since 2020 you already know so I'm not in a rush to collaborate I feel like when I eventually start collaborating it will be with people that I have formed a connection with a sort of bond whereby I yeah, um, I enjoy their content their content is similar to mine and you know we just vibe okay because I think that's when a pure collaboration with can ensue not just let's collaborate just for the sake of getting more viewers or getting more followers or whatever no so i'm not open for that type of collaboration but when eventually i collaborate with more creators it will be because i enjoy their content they enjoy mine i will benefit from them they will benefit from me as well does that make sense <laughs> yeah next question this person says, what do you miss the most about Nigeria? Actually, I miss number one thing. Okay, yeah, what do you miss the most? What I miss the most about Nigeria is just my family. I miss seeing my family in flesh and blood, like holding their hands, sitting in my papa's living room. And oh, I just, I miss my family. That's the one thing that I miss the most. Yeah, that was the question. So, next question. Hello, Mama. What what life lesson has marriage taught you? <laughs> when I saw this, I'm like, ah, this one is deep. This one's a little very serious. <laughs> but like, the life lesson I'll say is that marriage has taught me is just the fact that you guys, for for um the marriage to work and for you guys to advance as quickly as you possibly can and for you guys to you know enjoy the you know the whole marriage thing more i think unity is one key factor one key thing that i think if you move in unity do things together plan together grow together you know just like that like that you know just unity basically because it's it has to be you to against the world right not like you're fighting any battles but like there's gonna be struggles and there's gonna be ups and downs you you will forge ahead through all of this if you guys are well united so unity is one life lesson that marriage has taught me next question is there any regret you have moving to canada is it worth it any regret no, no i don't have any regrets for moving to canada yeah there's no regrets maybe even i would have loved to have moved way earlier but it's perfect timing when i came to yeah no regrets is it worth it it is worth it because i will say given what was obtainable for me based on my background back home my status back home this is well worth it in terms of things that i can afford to do right now i would not have been able to do given the life that i had back in nigeria and i think yeah i am open to a lot more opportunities than in nigeria not this is not to say that there are no opportunities back in nigeria but given my background my status you know it's a, it's going to be a lot difficult for someone like me to you know advance in nigeria that yeah doesn't mean it's very easy here but like yeah it's sort of you know it gives me a better ground of opportunities if that makes sense yeah so it is well worth it for me and my family so another person says if you had a chance to relocate to a different country which country would it be and why <laughs> and she laughed okay I don't know if you're talking now that I'm here or if I was still planning to relocate. If you were talking 
from like before i got here maybe while i was planning to relocate i would go i would say i'll choose a country more in the in europe i like european vibes not that i was you know that person that really wanted to leave the country it was never in my plan to actually leave nigeria you know i was one of those people who wishes and plan was you know to make it in nigeria and travel the world from there but always like leave in nigeria right but circumstances have led me here but if i were to relocate somewhere before coming here it would be somewhere in europe maybe ireland you know or the uk i love it in those parts i just love the architecture and the vibe that i get from watching their movies <laughs> that is that and since moving here if i don't know <laughs> considering after coming here having seen how things are if i was to leave the country or maybe even also before i come came here another country of choice would have been australia it's just that australia is just too far that's the only bit i mean i don't know i used to have like it's my, my favorite youtubers used to be well are from australia actually so I, it was a thing that i used to play with in my head especially when my husband told me about you know his plans to relocate and how some of the agents he spoke to was suggesting australia and i laughed about that oh i'm gonna see so and so <laughs> but then yeah so it's either somewhere in europe or australia um another question says what is something you are most proud of in your life and how okay and in your life so it's a two-part question let me answer the first one something that i'm most proud of in my life is just my the, the the way i chose to live my life that's what i'm proud of like the life choices that has let me led me you know like i've made the best of choices there are some things that i've done or some choices that i've made that i regret <laughs> you know but but yeah but i'll say just the kind of discipline that i have um embodied over the years over the course of my life so far i think they've led me to where i am and i might not be where i want to be but i'm not doing terribly so i am proud of that the second part says how bad do you miss nigeria i miss nigeria so much i miss i've said i miss my family but aside that i miss the vibe i miss the food i miss owambe yes i'm not like an overly out there person but now that i'm here i kind of miss owambe <laughs> you know i miss i just miss the old vibe of nigeria lagos in particular i miss street food sometimes you're like oh i don't feel like cooking what do we eat what do we eat let's do dun dun. we'll go to the go outside the clothes go to the woman across the street buy fried yam fried akara fried potatoes for more you know but yeah there's nothing like that so i miss all of that yeah that that's just what i miss the vibe i miss lagos vibes i don't miss the hardship that's the last question for youtube now let us go to the ones that my um peeps from instagram have generously asked me um where do i start let's start i think this is the first page <laughs> so one particular person asked about asked questions like five times she's so cute <laughs> um she said um let's start from down how did you navigate the job market when you first arrived I did not have any particular you know um i can't pinpo i can't actually pinpoint a technique or say this is what actually this was the technique that i used to navigate the job market because i am very well still navigating the job market i can't i think it's just like an ongoing thing especially for a new immigrant and it's not like back in nigeria i had my career well set on stone and all of that or you know well planned out so it's gonna take a couple of years you know navigating through you know the job market and the, your career that's what i think i think yeah when i first landed i just wanted a job guys 
I wanted if you guys know I was searching for like three months I just wanted a job not not that I was gonna settle for anything but like I wanted something to do so going from there now I'm now in the process of you know trying to get more certification trying to you know boost my um, portfolio and trying to place myself well in the job market so this is how if if i may say the i'm currently navigating through the job market because yeah it's a process it's a journey i've not mastered the craft yet <laughs> it's an ongoing thing for me i hope i answer that question well next are there community events or groups that helps you connect with others nope if you watch my videos very well you you would tell you can already tell that I have not been doing a great job at you know socializing and doing all of that which during the summer I was quite open to you know events and and uh, festivals and all of that but like I didn't know of any that was happening I had this friend that was like ah whenever anything pops up will tell us to you know I'm gonna be there I want to be outside this summer but it didn't quite pan out but we are here for the lot we are here so <laughs> i'm sure as time goes by i would you know find ways to connect because i'm not the type of person that is actually very open to you know a lot of i don't know you know what i mean so it's not like a foremost thing for me me i just want to make money and enjoy myself <laughs> that's just it so like getting i know that com finding a community is very important especially in a place like this but that is not foremost in my plan right now culture shocks i've had i have a video on the cultural shocks that i experienced in canada i have one for youtube and i have one for tiktok i'm gonna link it but yeah <laughs> there's a lot of things that all in you know about the space you know just the people the vibes and just the way they interact and all of that so i can't begin to say all the things what's the one that's formal just how people will go and buy stuff and just happily carry their groceries in their hands like <laughs> i remember the week we had just landed fine i know that you you do have to pay for your shopping bag but come on I will now go out, buy bread, and then I'll just hold my bread like this. My mom will say, you're holding your bread, yala yala, <laughs> you know? I'll just hold the bread like this, and I'm going home. I'm like, when I saw the bread, I'm like, ah, what's your budget, ba? <laughs> yeah, so, that's one thing. Next question, are there budget-friendly services or resources that help you, that you found helpful, budget-friendly resources? I'm, I don't know if this is relating to maybe shopping and all of that i don't know i am i know there are some things like there are some apps that help you to you know um get good prices for your groceries you know but I, I i don't use any of those because i just choose convenience i mean how many things am i buying i just choose convenience over keeping track of prices on an app i don't even know how it works but i know there are apps that do that and if you have links to those please leave in the comment section so that people can benefit because i actually don't have experience with using those types of resources so what i just do is the way that i use uh i know that i have helped myself save money especially when it comes to groceries and feeding is for feeding is eating in i we eat in a lot a lot like i cook a lot thankfully cooking is not a problem for me i love to cook so eating in a lot helps us to save money and um also buying food in bulk like going to the flea market buying our fresh produce there um you know freezing them up after blending and you know buying meat from the meat shop not the super stores just those are just the ways that we have been able to you know save money on buying food i don't know what other aspects you might have been referring to but yeah so another another question says what should i expect in terms of weather 
and how did you adapt to seasonal changes guys well i've only been here for a month and a few so i've experienced change from fall to winter winter to summer summer uh, to spring spring to fall again right so um fall to winter is not such a drastic you know uh, change even though the weather is very funny in the sense that even whilst we, um, fall is cold and we're transitioning to winter it doesn't just go from like the weather would not just go from say it's fall now we have like two degrees it doesn't go from just two degrees to one degree minus one zero degree zero degree minus one minus two no, that's not it's not going to drop like that it can the temperature can go rise up to like 12 degrees sometimes 15 degrees then all of a sudden boom <laughs> it drops to zero degrees so these affect your body system somehow how do i manage it when i start to feel like i don't feel good maybe i feel slight headaches and all of that i make sure i drink lots of water if you have um, um multivitamins or what supplements that you take do take those that's just how i manage it and whatever whatever these temperature changes bring i just deal with it yeah that's just how i've been able to cope and what to expect just expect <laughs> that in canada we have colder months than the autumn months and what's funny is that for the autumn months which is the summertime you know for someone like us coming from a tropical region you feel like summer wear summer food which summer we i never experienced before right but i'll have you know that the summers here are kind of different like it's not just oh the sun is scorching us it's the humidity as well i remember one day coming back from work i'm like what is this like i just felt so uncomfortable like i just couldn't please like the entire atmosphere was stiff it felt like the air was stiff and i couldn't breathe well like I was just so uncomfortable i couldn't wait to just get home and turn on the cooling system it was not pleasant at all i'm like ah, ah. If this is definitely not what nigeria is like this is not definitely not what lagos weather feels like because otherwise people would just be fainting anyhow in the market too because imagine women in the market selling under such conditions and then the air is just stiff ah there'll be lots of casualties i like, seriously <laughs> how did you expand your professional network after arriving like i said we're still navigating that part and i think you know by networking you know going attending job fairs which i have actually not attended any since i've been here but i this is something that i should also work towards so yeah someone else asked how are you not shy when filming in public girl this shyness is felt by the most like the best of us like the best I, I think the only those so, um uh, filmmaker type of content creator that are not shy to film in public but me trust me best believe that i am shy when filming in public so what well, i manage is that <laughs> when i want to speak to the vlog i make it quick <laughs> And then when I want to capture my environment, I try not to capture people's faces. I try not to be invasive and I just try to, you know, be quick about it as well. Someone asked, how is life in Canada? Life in Canada is good. It is, when I was coming here, like I didn't have like mighty, mighty expectations. So I would say it's good. I am not frustrated. I am not disappointed with what my life is like right now. I mean, there are some things I wish I had going well for me or better for me, but generally, life is good. I am content. Next. Before I answer this question, I need to say, sis, thank you so much for even asking me a question. You know, when you've been working with some people for like years and years, and they even interact with your content like that is thank you so much so she asked where are you from 
I am from Kogi State in Nigeria. So I'm from Kaba in Kogi State. So hello to my fellow Okun people that might be watching me. I am from Kogi State. And the next question is, what inspired you to move to Canada? What inspired me was just the economic situation in the country and just looking further in the future at my career path and what was going to be obtainable for me i just felt like i need this move and i'm not going to steal the glory about of this from my husband it was the, the inspiration was first born by him and then it became our shared you know dream so yeah and this was the same thing that actually inspired the urge to move or the want and need Move. Final question. She said, Toasters, baby girl. Toasters, baby girl, you're doing well. Thank you so much. That brings us to the end of this journey, guys. I really did enjoy filming this the second time. I think even more than I did the first time. Uh, thank you guys for leaving me your questions. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And if you're watching me for the first time i hope that you are compelled and moved to subscribe so hit the subscribe button join the family join the best space on youtube period <laughs> and i'll catch you on my next video bye guys